Good evening to all of you. First of all, I adore Almighty Allah Park. And then, I would like to thanks to all of my viewers and listeners, learner, for their great patience to wait to learn the next video. Due to some or more reason, there is delay in uploading the next video. Sorry for that. Now, wait is over. Let us look backwards to synchronize the first lecture. Let us see. Here, first of all, the question, what I have taught you in the incomplete first lecture. That is why I told you, for synchronizations, just you are taking nothing. Here, yeah. the question is, what is, what is electric charge? What is electric charge? Look at its answer. It is an intrinsic, intrinsic characteristics. characteristics of fundamental fundamental particles making up making up those objects that is it is a characteristics that is it is a characteristics that automatically automatically accompanies accompanies those particles, those particles, wherever, wherever they exist. Look at, here we underline intrinsic. Fundamental particles. So, here is intrinsic. What does it mean? It means charge is internal character of anything. However, there is some exception. We, we will see later on. But what are our perception regarding the charges? Is that if we see symbolically plus sign on an object, then what do we mean? The body has positive charge. In a similar manner, if we see symbolically minus sign, what do we mean? The body has negative charge. That are our perception. No doubt in it. But look at that definition. Nothing has been stated symbolically plus sign or, or symbolically negative sign. Nothing has been stated in this definition. That is why this definition is 
एक्चुअल डिफरेंसेस ऑफ डिचार्ज सो जस्ट आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन इट इंप्रिंसिक कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ फंडामेंटल नाउ व्हाट इज फंडामेंटल नथिंग इज फंडामेंटल बट वी कॉल मेनली इन फिजिक्स फंडामेंटल फिजिकल क्वांटिटी डिराइव फिजिकल क्वांटिटी जस्ट आई एम ऑल्सो टीचिंग एंड टू मेनी टीचर्स आर ऑल्सो टीचिंग फंडामेंटल पार्टिकल्स टू मेनी टेक्स्ट बुक फंडामेंटल पार्टिकल्स सेवन फंडामेंटल पार्टिकल्स टू सप्लीमेंट्री फंडामेंटल पार्टिकल्स एंड देन डिराइव फिजिकल क्वांटिटी लाइक दैट बट इन फैक्ट देर आर नो क्वांटिटी विच इज फंडामेंटल but for our convenience to study physics mainly mainly in chemistry in mathematics mainly in physics we assumed seven physical quantity as a fundamental that is why they are fundamental that's very nice example current current is a fundamental physical quantity because of the fact that we have been assumed otherwise charge will be fundamental but charge is a derived physical quantity as per current is a fundamental quantity what we have been assumed that is i am telling you fundamental particles making up those objects what does it mean it means that every one of the object is made up of fundamental particles that fundamental particles carries charges now it is very obvious question what is the charge of neutron because as we know electron proton neutron are fundamental particles however so many textbook you are going to find it out What is the charge of neutron? The obvious answer is zero. But strictly, one you, I strictly caution you. No, no, charge on neutron is not zero. How? How I am going to understand your verdict? What you are saying here? Just in science. we must have to see the experimental fact or the theory on the basis of that we understand this particular thing is more appropriate than the other or another one we cannot say wrong because it appropriate matter of appropriate which one is more appropriate there is a difference between wrong and appropriate because neutron proton electrons are made up of subatomic particles you may call it more fundamental particles more fundamental particles their name are up down and strange However, we do not mean up means up, down means going down. No, no, not like that. But particles, subatomic particles, name are up, down, and strange. However, concept of the physics of these particles are beyond the scope of class twelve syllabus. So we are not going to discuss more here, but we will discuss surely. we will take up the graduation in physics later on after uh, class 12 or 11 physics we will take on graduation in physics then you will see the miracle of these particles so up down strange particles have different amount of charges plus or minus and these fundamental particles are the combination of these three up down and strange so add up in proper combination charge on neutron comes out to be zero what does it mean net charge on neutron is zero electron is minus 1 proton is plus 1 but 
still there is a twist here there are two concept of charges however in daily life two relative and absolute so electron has relative charges minus one proton has plus one so in in which respect these charges are we are counting here with respect to h11 that is called protium because we all know hydrogen had three isotopes protium deuterium tritium however tritium is radioactive not found in nature it may be obtained in the experiment once we do but still h11 h12 h13 radioactive found in laboratory so h the charges on electron and proton proton is as good as h11 so with respect to that electron has minus one charge that is called relative charges very clear so next thing is that absolute what is absolute charges you know j j thomson did experiment and found the ratio of value of e by me look at here j j thomson j j thomson found e by m ratio but after the discovery of this one r dot a dot millikan do not confuse with mulikan the again the giant of science you may call mulikan he has been devised a formula on the basis of energy to find the electronegativity of the element But still, electronegativity has no unit. Electropositivity has no unit. But on the consideration of energy, they have found the value of electronegativity. We will see in the chemistry. Okay. But right now, this is the R M Millikan, famous experiment, famous experiment, oil drop experiment. He found. However, we will discuss this uh, experiment uh, later on when we take out a structure of atom. I will show you. But right now, the value of that R M Millikan found a smallest charge has got value one point six multiplied by ten to the power of minus nineteen coulomb. That the small entity till date we obey this small entity. No exception, no challenge has been raised till date. But as science progresses, there are a lot of scientific work has been done, and someone has found. there is a charge which is not integral multiple of e we'll call it quantization of charge here in this lecture we will see later on but a subatomic particles quarks quarks Do not confuse with quarks. Quarks is one of the electrotic form of silica, SiO two. However, it has got six forms: alpha, beta, quarks, alpha, beta, crystallite, alpha, beta, tridymite. In solid physics. 
as well as in solid chemistry. The solid physics is beyond the scope of your syllabus, but the solid chemistry, little bit, you are going to study in chemistry. Okay, let us. So it is cowards, not a cowards. Scientist has found cowards has charges plus minus 2e by 3 or plus minus e by 3. But unfortunately, their existence outside the nucleus till date not possible. Till date not possible. But however, uh, these are experimentally proved. So we have to admit it. But inside the nucleus, not outside the nucleus. Till date, later on, what will comes out? That right now it is a mystery, but let us see what will going to happen in the future. Okay. But uh, here uh, these are the things. But what about the charges? Here just we have to focus on fundamental particles, electron, proton, and neutron. So I told you earlier, Newton has net charge, either relative or absolute, comes out to be zero, comes out to be net, but it is all the times to say net, bothered, so we drop the prefix net and we call it charge zero, but if one can ask you, is charge of neutron is zero? Question mark. My answer is that no, definitely not. Net charge on neutron is zero. But customary we call it charge zero. Okay. So what about electron and proton? So now we have to think charges in terms of electron and proton. But again, here is a twist. What is the twist? The twist is on the surface of the earth we take the charges as charge of electron or in terms of number of electrons. So we provide charges from one body to the other. What are the processes? We will see later on. In this, in this lecture, we will see later on. What are the processes? In terms of electrons. In terms of electrons. Not in terms of proton. Then why? Why? Because to move the proton or to take a proton from one nucleus to the other. Why nucleus? Because Neutron and proton are found inside the nucleus. However, the existence of proton outside the nucleus is hardly possible. Possible, hardly possible. Neutron does not, because neutron is disintegrated to proton. But in the core of sun, or in fact, core of any large or big stars. There is tremendous temperature. So this proton flows like a proton beam. So there is a possibility of protonic charge as well. Is it possible on the surface of the earth? Answer? Yes, maybe. Did happen? Fusion reaction under the heading hydrogen bomb. How one can? Form the hydrogen bomb. So we have a confinement of protium H11 in such a way that we surround it with the material of atom bomb, fission reactions, and explode the atom bomb. It provides the temperature for which this proton fuses and provides helium nucleus, and a large amount of energy has been released. It is possible due to tremendous temperature, almost approximately 10 to the power of 7 Kelvin. However, in the core of suns, because uh, their atmosphere is already hot. So, little bit less, 
by the factor of 10, that proton flows. So, in general, protonic charge on the surface of the earth is not possible. So, we have left with only option electron. So, we talk of electron more and more here on the surface of the earth to understand the charges. So, these are the stories regarding the fundamental particles that we talked about here. Now, here that automatically accompanies those particles wherever they exist, but uh, has few exceptions. Photon, known as Kavunta, that the energy as per uh, Max Planck's Einstein, Hertz. Quanta, photons, anti neutrino, neutrino, and too many subatomic particles. This, these are under the heading of particle physics. That graduation and they see like that. So that's very much interesting. Particle physics. But right now we have to concentrate here. So okay. So these photons, neutrino, anti neutrino are hanging off rest mass. There is also rest mass, relativistic mass, and what is mass? Mass is mass, will never change. But we manipulate relativistic mass, relativistic mass on the basis of relativistic linear momentum, relativistic kinetic energy, what we call kinetic energy, half m v square. No, no, it is not so. It is for lowest speed. If the speed is high, like that of 0.9c, 0.8c, 0.6c. So this formula of kinetic energy fails. So we will see significant amount of such ideas when we deal magnetic field. I will show you in the chapter magnetic field. Before that, there is a relation, a relativistic relation between electric and magnetic field. This is the two sides of a point. So that's very very interesting. But we will see. Wait up to the magnetic field. I will show you. But here, the rest mass, relativistic mass, these are the concept. On the basis of that, these particles are having of mass, but having of no charge. That is why light did not deflect in magnetic field. Because it is a photon. It means itself light is the oscillating electric and magnetic field. We will see later on in the next chapter Maxwell's theory and the optics like that. So that is why it does not deflect. Which does not deflect? Photon, neutrino, anti neutrino. When we apply electric and magnetic field, because you know, when a charged particle is, uh, has given some speed, then it deflects in the magnetic field. But neutrino, anti neutrino, photons, X rays are not deflected by electric and magnetic field. Okay, so these are the uh, some explanation regarding this definition. So that definition is very very nice definition. I have told you in the first class we have a body insulator, semiconductor, conductor. Positively charged conductor, negatively charged conductor. Which one has got charge? Obvious answer is a positively charged conductor or negative charged conductor, but it is not so. All of the above, I told you earlier in the earlier classes. Every one of the body has got charges. I told you exception. Photo, neutrino, anti neutron are the exception. So, this is the exhaustive definition. They call it exhaustive definition, complete, elaborated, that full concept of charge that gives you strength, that gives you fill of charges. You have to fill, physics is a fill, interest, enthusiastically you have to study. That will give you comfort. If someone will give you comfort, then you are going to enjoy it. So enjoy this. unit of charge.
unit of charge. So charge is a derived physical quantity. Why? Because we have been assumed current is a fundamental. That is why. So here charge Q in a cross point of view. Q is equal to I into T. I into T. So that is why current is supposed to be fundamental. Assume fundamental, but we call it fundamental. Not assumed. We say fundamental. If one can ask, then say assume fundamental. So time is also assume fundamental, but fundamental. So time, time and current are fundamental. So any quantity, any physical quantity, in fact, may be other, derived by two or more fundamental quantities are known as derived physical quantities. So that is why charge is a derived physical. What about unit? Look at it here. Current one ampere. Time one second. So one ampere second is the unit of charge. One ampere second is as good as one coulomb. However, this is the system of international SI system or MKS system. In MKS system or system of MKS. So there are certain system, FPS, foot, pound, second system, franc system, CGS system, DOS system, and MK system, SI system. So here we are focusing on SI system and CGS system. So CGS system is not of much importance, but it may be used frequently in chemistry. Once we try to find the magnitude of dipole moment. However, electric dipole moment, dipole concept is here physics and also we will uh, in this subsequent lecture we will see in very detail in fact. But so in chemistry we use unit of electric dipole moment as a 1 dB. 1 dB. 1 dB. However, its full name is Peter J dot W dot Deby T E B Y E Deby in short one D. This is the one Deby Coulomb Peter J dot W dot Deby. So one Deby is the unit of electric dipole moment. So in one Deby we require the CGS unit of charges. So little bit importance. That is why I am giving you the concept of uh, CGS unit of charge and SI will be uh, as usual we have to learn. So here just we want to show you the CGS system unit of charge. So write it down. Here in CGS system in CGS centimeter gram second system unit of charge unit of charge unit of charge is unit of charge is one electrostatic unit electrostatic unit in short in short one esu or we call it one state coulomb one state coulomb, one state coulomb. In short, one STAT state capital C. Mind you here, single letter then capital C. One state coulomb. Then what is one electrostatic unit or what is one state coulomb? Just we are going to define it. In a minor, look at here. To define one state plum, one electrostat unit, we take two equal charges separated by a distance of D is equal to one centimeter. If they repel, why repel? Because we will see later on, like charge repel, unlike charge attract. 
that's the nature that is happening here if here they repel by the force of by the force of one dime see just a minute force force one dime one dime means force because dime is a unit of force one dime then look at here force f force f is equal to some constant k let me see in detail when we deal coulomb's law what is k k ku ku divided by distance between them say d square very rough term. so is the one dime is d is 1 cm square so we have to find q from here from q is equal to q is equal to plus minus under root f into d square by t i plus minus because light charge you may be of negative nature you will say it is still there is a very nice concept what is negative and what is positive why we write negative q less than zero why we write q less than zero why what is the meaning of q over zero that is a lot of a lot of interest we will see today so q is equal to plus minus f d square by k so it comes out to be one e s u short form of that it right short form but never speak short form one electrostatic unit right esu but never speak esu you always speak electrostatic unit or as good as one state coulomb state coulomb for which what is the value of k you have to adjust the unit because in the one dime is the one centimeter square guess the unit of k so q is come us to be one esq in cgs system or one state coulomb it is up to you what is the value of k for which comes up to be one esq work it out yourself if you have a problem then ask in a comment we will show you in the next class definition of charge in system mks mks or system of international what is this again we have taken two like charges but this time distance between them is taken as 1 meter i know this time if this like charges ku and ku which are placed at d बराबर 1 meter then if the like charge repel by the force of if if it repels by the force of by the force of 9.0 multiply by approximate value 10 to the power of 9 approximately in round figure newton then q comes out to be comes out to be 1 coulomb how this is the f this is equal to some constant k ku ku divided by 4 pi ku ku by d square pay pay by h all right because we have taken this value so it means it is already assumed that charges are placed charges are placed in by kuam v a c u u m by kuam if charge not is placed in by kuam still we have to think we have to modify Very nice problem. We will see in the problem section after Coulomb's law. F equal to k q q by t s. Now, 
what it is so this comes out to be look at here so here the q is equal to under root f into d square divided by k or this comes out to be one coulomb so again we have to set the values of k it is up to you if you are not able to adjust the value of k to get one coulomb then write in the comment box surely i will uh, give you the how it comes to be one coulomb oh that is very easy you are able to that one coulomb q is equal to one So in this way, we have been defined what is one coulomb and what is one electrostatic unit or one stirred coulomb. Now, now the next is that what is there any relation between SI system and CGS system? Yes, there is a relation. Look at the relation. So, relation between. A relation between ESU electrostat unit and plug. Here we know that one electrostat unit is equivalent to. Don't confuse with the equal. Equivalent to point one. Ampere meter hour C. What is the C? Where C is the speed of light. Where C is the speed of light. The speed of light. What is the value of the speed of light? The obvious answer is. C is equal to three point zero multiply k to the power of eight meter per second. But I say it is wrong. Then you say, sir, my earlier sir or teachers or professor and the two many test book has written this is the value, and you are saying it is wrong. But I say it is wrong. I stand by. So how? Yes, I am going to give you a glimpse of that. A speed of light is measured by so-called scientist name Fizeau, second scientist, Michelson and Morley are together two scientists, and latest by the Maxwell, Clark Maxwell. The latest value I'm just going to get going to be right here. So according to Maxwell, we will see, we will prove. Then we will discuss electromagnetic waves. Not much, but as much as we require. According to Maxwell, speed of light c, we will prove later on, comes out to be one alpha mu naught epsilon. May not power mia b lati a free space that is by kaiyom free up to my knowledge or up to our science knowledge. Epsilon not power mitti bhati a free space or we call it by kaiyom by kaiyom. Okay. So I put these uh, these values are well known. Uh, we will see later on magnetic field four uh, pi ten minus seven epsilon not eight point eight five two minus twelve and SI system. So we 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 know these things. These are the constant already written in the question paper. So we put the values and the answer is comes out to be approximate. Still we are calling it approximately, not accurate. Two nine nine seven nine two four five eight meter per second. Look at the value. Two nine nine seven nine two four five eight meter per second. So this is the experimental value. Maxwell obtained by experiment or by theory. Theory is this. 
so this value did not comprises this value but this number is bother cumbersome for calculation so that is why we round it here at two so after rounding we will get that so how one can say this value is correct however i am not very sure but there is one interesting thing is that miracle of albert einstein he said as per his knowledge from any inertial frame if we measure the speed of light that the second postulate of theory of relativity first one is laws of physics are same in every one of the inertial frame of reference this is the branch of physics relativity general theory of relativity so einstein said if we measure the speed of light by any inertial frame then it comes out to be constant and this value is like that so this is the speed of light see so here we have to put c value this one not that one that is why i give you some explanation here okay try to understand so we do not put this value here we have to put this value so because we are taking as a unit that is why i am giving the some explanation here so look at here so if we put ampere meter is a unit to so see the value this and put this and that and what we get just i am going to write here so one electrostatic unit is comes out to be approximately 3.3 into 10 to the power of minus 10 minus 10 coulomb yes in the was if we find out how many electrostatic unit one coulomb is so just divide it here it comes out to be approximately 2.98 multiply 10 to the power of 9 electrostatic unit or state coulomb So this is uh, what we have been taken unit, terahertz, electric quantity. What is one coulomb? What is one electrostatic unit? Or what is one state coulomb? These are the. But we conclude this by one dB as per as per Peter J W dB. if we have two equal and opposite charges of magnitude minus q and q so magnitude of this is 1.0 multiply 10 to the power of minus 10 electrostatic unit and this is also mod q is equal to our mod q is q because q is positive nature this is 1.0 Multiply 10 to the power minus 10 electrostatic unit, and it is separated by a distance of d is equal to one angstrom. This distance unit angstrom is nowadays obsolete, means no longer in use. Or we try to take it out in consideration as per guide of. I P A C or the science with a measure. So this is the one angstrom. We all know one point zero multiplied ten to the power of minus eight centimeter. So dipole moment. What is dipole moment? Dipole moment. In fact, electric dipole moment is a vector physical point. Its direction is in the direction of dipole axis. What is dipole axis? A straight line or directed line from negative charge to the equal positive charge is known as dipole axis. Then direction of electric dipole moment is in the direction of dipole axis, and its magnitude is multiplication of 
magnitude of one of the charge and distance between them. So here, this is a small p, that's the magnitude, it comes out to be minus mod q times d or mod q times d. So it comes out to be 1.0 10 to the power of minus 18 electrostat unit centimeter. So, on the honor of Peter J. W. Davy, we write it 1 Davy. 1 Davy. So, this is termed as 1 Davy. So, use it for this chemistry once we deal with dapple moment of what? In benzene ring, net dapple moment, 60 degree, 120 degree, 180 degree. Or to meta para, these are the things. In fact, in fact, the uh, linear molecules, CO2, net double point of risk comes out to be zero. SO2, some angular structure, water 104.5 degree or like that. So, in this way, we use the daily unit more frequently. However, if you do not write daily unit or do not write CS unit, only you write the SI system, that's okay. But usually the right. So, now, We are going to study properties of charges. Properties of charges. Now we have to take the next article the properties. Properties of charges. Properties of charge. Reality. Reality and acceptance. Fantastic. Reality and acceptance. What actually property of charge is and what we mean, what we take up, what we accept, what we do, what we write, what we speak, what we say some somewhere else. That's called acceptance. And reality is quite different from acceptance. Look at here. So, as you know, here the first property of the charge is charge means electric charge. Electric charge. Electric charge is of a scalar. Physical quantity. Stellar physical. Let us we take what the statement says. So as per the statement, suppose one has charges plus 50 microcoulomb. Now we say Add minus 50 microcoulomb charge, please. So we are going to add of our request the minus 50 microcoulomb. So what is the effect? Because it is a scalar, it is zero microcoulomb. It is zero microcoulomb. Let us see again. We take a numerical example. Suppose I have given, say, some of you plus 5. Now I say add minus 5 in it. So result is 0. Now again, suppose here is the 5 electron. Added to the 5 proton comes out to be 0. Here we have written 3 statement. So everywhere is 0. Here. Look at here. Look at here. Look at here. To understand this one, 
I take simple example. Say, suppose I have given to you rupees five, and then I have taken rupees five from you. Then how much rupee left to you? So answer is zero. That's correct because nothing has been left. The same. That's the correct. But first we understand this one. Five electron plus five proton comes out to be zero. Charge vanishes. Charge exhausted. Charge disappears. <laughs> But it's not so because what was our definition? Look at that definition. Resemble this with that definition. Not the definition. What you have? What our perception was? But right now, what we have learned the definition of charge? We have to explain on the basis of that. Five electron, five proton, zero. This zero is zero of neutrality. Neutrality. Body still has five electron and five proton. Written zero on the basis of neutrality. Nothing has been exhausted. Nothing has been disappeared. Nothing has been lost. Still, there are five electron and five proton. Here is also body still has got that much charges. Zero is on the basis of neutrality. So that is why this is the reality. And this is the acceptance is zero zero zero. So that is why my here heading is property of charges in reality and acceptance. Then on the basis of reality, we cannot write like here charge Q is less than zero no charge Q is greater than zero no charge Q is equal to zero maybe maybe absolutely zero. In case of photo, neutrino, antineutrino, but in case of neutrality, also Q is equal to zero. So this is more or less permissible. But these two are definitely not permissible. But now comes to the acceptance. So Q less than zero, Q greater than zero. It means less than zero, greater than zero. Shows the nature of the charges on the basis of neutrality. But one miracle is here. Simple algebra, algebra of addition, multiplication, division, subtraction, or algebraic addition. Okay. So by using this mathematical formulation, we will get our answer as per our requirement. So we add two charges, we subtract two charges, multiply two charges, divide one of the charges by the other. These things we do. Still we write Q less than zero, but we never mean charge less than zero. Q less than zero. What we mean? Its nature is negative. What we mean? Q is equal to zero. Nature is positive. Suppose if electron has given positive nature by the earlier inventor or earlier scientist, then we have to assume electron has plus one relative charges. But scientist has given relatively minus one. That is why it is minus one. Okay. So we still use. I am going to also use Q less than zero. You are also going to be use Q greater than zero, Q less than zero. Okay. But we mean that this less than zero, greater than zero shows their nature. Nothing concerned with the mathematical less or greater. Less or so these things take into mind. Now this is the uh, first property. Charge is a scalar physical quantity. Now next one is. charge is 
नॉन रेलटिविस्टिक दैट इज इट इज इंडिपेंडेंट इट इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ फ्रेम जस्ट कैन यू एक्सप्लेन इट टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस वन we counter mass firstly however it is a very little concept in class 12 more more we will see in the graduation we will take when graduation lecture you will see there mass first of all i say mass is mass mass is the intrinsic property of the matter so it cannot be changed is 10 kg then 10 kg no where no frame 10 kg is 10 kg rest mass however when configuration changes then rest mass changes yeah rest mass changes because rest mass depends upon the configuration so we'll take one when we when we will take a structure of atom then uh, hopefully i will show you rest mass is mass mass is mass but one we see masses with respect to inertial frame then we construct mathematical construction of mass is known as relativistic mass so we define as per einstein relativistic mass mv the frame speed is v if we set on the particle then the particle is free. so moving mass we call it moving mass it is not a mass moving mass mass is mass moving mass in the respect we construct a mass but detail is not here mv is equal to m0 is divided by a square root of 1 minus v square by c square So mass in this regard is relativistic. So it depends upon the speed. So v is very small, ten meter per second, twenty, hundred, thousand. Then okay, no problem. Moving mass and the rest mass almost comes out to be equal. That's called Newtonian mechanics. But when we take up electron, you know, in the first orbit, hydrogen atom first orbit. The speed of electron is approximately 2.1 multiplied 10 to the power of 6 meter per second. So if we take this uh, m naught means 9.11 multiplied 10 to the power of minus 31 kilogram, then it does not work. Then we have to take relativistic mass there, and that will work. So the Newton's law has to be modified. because in newton mechanics speed is small so its mathematical construct is not applicable there applicable but not of much use not give you significant differences but when we deal relativistic or the speed of the particle or the frame from which we are observing is comparable to the speed of light then this m not does not work so we have to use this relativistic construct of mass we not call the mass has been changed relativistic construct of mass okay look at here to so charge non relativistic what does it mean suppose your your one of the friend is on the ground supposed to be at rest one of them on the scooter second of them on the car i thought them the moving train our training is right now moving one station to the other little bit but the starting then like that of relativistic construct of mass there is no relativistic construct of charge so if q not is charge on moving scooter say plus 5 microcoulomb 
on moving car say plus 5 micro coulomb and moving train say plus 5 micro coulomb then everywhere it is 5 micro coulomb in this regard we cannot construct mathematical construct of charges or we call it in simple language there is no relativistic nature of charge as mass has that is right so in this regard electric charge is uh, non relativistic that is it is independent of friend okay the third property property number third here is charge is at rest produces electric field charge in uniform motion very interesting you will see its effect on the magnetic field charge in uniform motion produces electric and magnetic field both how we will see later on and when charge is accelerated then it produces electromagnetic waves electromagnetic waves electromagnetic waves electromagnetic waves these are the property now the next one property number 4 we have we have two identical two identical bodies and by anyway we will see later on anyway we have taken say 10 electrons from one body from one body and is given to the another body another body then mass of body which is which is it which received electrons electrons becomes more yeah becomes more and that transferred becomes less why 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 because electron has a field mass electron has absolute mass absolute mass m e subscript e is equal to 9.11 10 to the power of minus 31 kg so 10 electron has been transferred from one body to the another so receiving body has 10 times of that multiply by 10 so how much mass has been increased in increment in mass increment in mass in mass is equal to 10 multiply 9.11 10 to minus 31 kg so it comes out to be 
9.11 to the power of minus 30 kilogram and as much mass becomes less of the body that transfer 10 electron so that is why mass because electron has got electron has got mass so these are things here now the next property is that like charge like charge repel each other and unlike charge attract each other the and the last one last property just i'm going to write very very interesting is a quantization of charge quantization of charge last property number 6 quantization quantization of charge what does it mean what does it mean it means that say very school day experiment we have taken a glass rod and a silk thread we rub on it then from one body to the other which body we will explain in the charging process so understand here or assume that glass has transferred some electron to the silk thread why glass has transferred we will see in the process of charging say one body A given charge charge here on the surface of the earth in terms of electron only so this that charge what does it mean charge Q given by one body by the process we are not going to here discuss here right now. We will see in the next class process of charging. Q is equal to N E where N is an integer. Means we have to transfer from one body to the other. 1 electron, 2 electron, 3 electron, 1000 electron, 10,000 electron, 1 million electron, 1 billion electron, 1 trillion electron and 1 zillion electron. But we never say one body transferred to the other 3 and a half electron, 2.3 electron. 7.9 electron no because electronic charge is itself is a very big fraction but still transformation of integral multiple of n which is termed as quantization of charge this is not important q is equal to a very nice formula so in the next class we will take up some problems on this quantization of charge and then we proceed the process of charging or how one can provide how one can give how one can receive how one can receive means one body received from the other in which way charge so we will discuss in the next class thank you Wait for the next class. Hopefully, we will upload in very, very quick succession. Okay, thank you.